G'day guys, it's Rob from TAT. Just want to chat to you about a vehicle that we've got in today. It's a 200 series Land Cruiser with a 4.5 litre V8 twin turbo. It's coming for an engine light on, multiple lights on the dash and a transmission code of P2716, pressure control solenoid D electrical. So what I wanted to chat about today was not really the diagnosis part of it, but more about the manufacturer's portal that we would sign in to get service information for this vehicle. Uh, not many people make good use of the service information that we can get from there. Obviously to diagnose the system correctly, we have to understand how it works. So unfortunately, sometimes we cannot get the information that we need. And the only way to do it is to log into the manufacturer's portal or send it back to the dealer. Obviously we don't want to lose the work or send work away, we want to keep our customers happy, so for the sake of logging in and, and buying a short subscription, we can definitely get the information we need to diagnose this properly, and what we'll do is I'll jump on the computer now and I'll show you exactly what we found and what we used to diagnose this. Alright, so the first thing we do is we log into toyotamanuals.com.au, we go up to our subscribe section, click subscribe, and then we just choose whatever package we see fit for whatever we're doing. And once we get that, we get the information we need. And what I like to do is jump in with Microsoft Whiteboard. I'll show you how it works. So this is my Microsoft Whiteboard. And as you can see, it basically is just a whiteboard that you can zoom in and out of. And if I zoom out, you'll be able to see everything that I've got on the screen here. So. Uh, the great thing about this is you can, if you've got a whole bunch of information, you can just pile it all on in one screen. You can share it with other techs. Um, and I'll show you what I've got here. So if we go to our diagnostic flowchart for the code that we found, uh, as you can see here, we did our resistance test at the actual connector on the transmission. Uh, no good. So next step is to actually remove the transmission solenoid and check the physical resistance of it to determine whether it's a wiring fault in between that connector or the solenoid itself. Obviously not knowing exactly which solenoid it was. We jumped over, we got the solenoid replacement procedure. And as you can see, here it shows us exactly our SLT solenoid, exactly where it sits on the valve body. And once we replace that, picked up the pan torque specs from the totemanuals.com.au and we've also got our photos for the customer if the customer wants to see anything going on there so um, just wanted to show you that is what we like to do with the information that we get so here we're just using the resistance lead of the Pico 4425A just to confirm that the resistance of the new solenoid is within spec and this vehicle is back together and all fixed so there you go guys i hope that makes sense to you and obviously you know going forward if you can make good use of the manufacturer portals then please do if you jump on tap we've got multiple listings for the manufacturers of the sites that you can log on to to get a short subscription so jump on and this will definitely go up as a repair solution on the tat site so if you're not a part of tap jump on you can check out all the repair solutions we have on board thanks for watching and we'll see you next time